and welcome to the William Penn Sports Recap. I'm Lauren Frank. Statesman Athletics have been underway all year, putting in hard work to make sure their 2011-2012 season a success. To discuss the Statesman 2011 football season is PSR's football analyst, Chris Crawford. The William Penn football team had a successful 2011 season. The number eight nationally ranked Statesman opened up their season with a brand new stadium against Iowa Wesleyan, bringing in their first big win. As the football season progressed, so did the team. The Statesmen then climbed to fourth in the national ranking as they traveled to St. Francis with a loss 35 to 36 for the first time since October 23rd of the previous year, pushing them back to number eight. The Statesmen grew from their loss and continued their eight game winning streak into the homecoming game at William Penn. The homecoming game against Trinity International was won by the Statesmen 31 to seven for another Midwest League win. The Statesmen continued to win regular season games as the big Grandview game approached. The Statesman needed to come out with the win against the Vikings in order to return to the playoffs for the first time in three decades. The number eight Statesman fell to the number 23 Vikings ending their season with a 9-2 record. The Statesman football team has finished spring training for the 2012 upcoming season. It was capped off with a spring game scrimmage with the new recruits in the stands. There was a nice crowd as well. And for Statesman Football Nation, it's preparing for another successful season. Back to you, Lauren. The 2011 All-American Awards were given to Damon Harrison and Mason Woods, who both received third team from the Beyond Sports Network division. As for the 2011 Lady Statesman Volleyball team, they finished their season with a 19-23 record. Going into the 2011 Midwest Collegiate Conference Tournament, the number seven seed Lady Statesman lost 3-1 against the number two seed Viterbo in the first round. The 2012 volleyball team has already started spring practice and has held a tournament at William Penn. Lady Statesman pulled off a victory to cap off their spring season. Going into the winter sports, the 2011 Lady Statesman basketball team is PSR's Darius Wilson. Thank you, Lauren. The Lady Statesman started off their season with a seven game losing streak, but picked up their first win against Missouri Valley at the Northwest Missouri State Tournament. The Lady Statesman beat Viterbo in the quarterfinals at the Midwest Collegiate Conference Tournament. The girls then advanced to the semifinals against Grandview. After going into overtime, the Lady Statesmen would lose and end their season with a 12 and 19 record. The honorable mention All-American Award went to Oreo Thomas. The men's basketball team only had a seven men deep bench at the beginning of the season due to various reasons. Even so, the team picked up their first win against Missouri Valley. Meeting for the first time, the Statesmen would come up short at the popular toilet paper game against a longtime rival, Grandview. They would later on avenge their loss by beating them at Grandview. In another matchup, the number seven seed Grandview in the quarterfinals of the Midwest Collegiate Conference Tournament defeated the number two seed Statesman. As the Statesman thought their chance of making it to nationals was at an end, league rival St. Ambrose won William Penn a second bid into the NAIA National Championships. After gaining their second chance, William Penn was paired up against number three ranked Davenport and lost in the first round. The Statesman ended their season with a 17 and 15 record. Senior Allen Douglas received second team All-American honors. And now on to the 2012 Statesman baseball team who have been on a crazy roller coaster all season long. The team started out in Minneapolis at the Metrodome, losing all four games of the series to Northwestern. The Statesman then picked up their first win to St. Mary's out in Leavenworth, Kansas, but fell short the second game. Going into spring break for the Tucson Invitation Games, they started the tournament with a win and five losses before winning the final four games of that tournament. Those wins started a six-game winning streak heading into their Midwest Collegiate Conference play where they won the series 2-1 against Waldorf and Viterbo. Rounding up the end of the March, Statesmen won their first game against Iowa Westland. Then, on a weekend away, the boys went 1-3 against Harris Stowe in non-conference play. Coming back into conference, the boys split against St. Ambrose, who has a deciding game at a later date. This starts a six-game losing streak, three of which were to the second-place Grandview. That was ended when the Statesmen beat Ashford in their last game of the series. And now on to softball. The 2012 Lady Statesmen softball team got off to a rough start in February, losing their first four games in Mississippi before their spring break trip to Arizona. While in Arizona, the Lady Statesmen picked it up, winning the next four out of five games. The girls ended up leaving the Tucson Invitational Games with an overall record of 10-8. The Lady Statesmen went into their Midwest Collegiate Conference facing Bellevue and won both games, followed by two losses to Baker. 
Once the MCC started, the team had three wins and one loss before going on a 17-game winning streak, which includes five non-conference games from the Iowa Wesleyan Simmons Classic Tournament that was held on Easter weekend. The streak was shut down by Viterbo at the MCC Conference Weekend in Illinois, but the Lady Statesmen bounced back by beating Ashford in extra innings. After the weekend was over, Penn Softball returned home, getting two more wins against Iowa Westland. The Lady Statesmen secured the conference title after the first game that night. This has been Lauren Frank with William Penn Sports Recap. Thanks for watching.